Welcome, friends! Your favorite degenerates, Krista and Jason, are at it again! Let's celebrate the day! What's the situation, Degenerate Nation? What's happening, Degenerates? So we have found ourselves in DeLand, not D-Land, Florida. DeLand! DeLand, if you're looking to pronounce it. It's about an hour north or so of Orlando. Right. And we crossed a fantastic place, as many cruisers do when they stop in Key West. One of the big stops to do would be Key, oh, uh, Kermit's Kermit. Key Lime Pie. They have a frozen key lime pie, chocolate covered on a stick. Oh, it it's so phenomenal. yummy. If you watched our, uh, was that the Liberty or Victory? Victory. Victory vlogs, then you saw us in Key West mowing yes. out on these Ugh. things. I'm gonna Cool little today. setting, great little place to hang out while you're out doing your thing. And uh, so uh, one thing Kristen noticed while we were there is that they were in Deland, so we're like, yeah, there's a manufacturing facility in Deland. <laughs> so we're like, uh, we should call them and check it out. Yeah. So Krista does a bunch of legwork. I mean, this is right after the cruise. We're like, wow, you guys are right there. You know, can we come and like check out your facility? That'd be a great vlog to see how all this stuff is done. Right. But apparently in Key West, there was this huge key lime festival that apparently takes place for like a week. So that was a problem. Yeah, I mean, scheduling. You know. Finally, our uh, our schedules. The stars have a line. And we're here at Kermit's Kermit. in the land and we're going to uh, get a tour of the facility. So if you want a tour, uh, I need to warn you beforehand that you need to arrange that, that it's not yes. something you can walk in and they do a tour once an hour. This is a no. production facility, so. Yeah, this is a production facility. They don't normally do tours. We will be, you know, it, it's an, it, they're individually giving us a tour for your benefit. Right, so let's go check it out. Okay, and Key Lime, I want some pie, honey. Let's do it. So we've made a friend, we're inside of Kermit's, and our friend's name is Karen, which just happens to be my mom's name too. Aww, I don't know if you knew that. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> so tell us about Kermit's, Karen, sure. or tell us about you. Okay, I'm Karen Hott, I'm Sales and Marketing Director for Kermit's Key West Key Lime Shop. We're here in our DeLand facility, which is 400 miles north of Key West. Um, a lot of people would ask why we're here, but uh, Key West, if you haven't been there, is a very small, compact island that's very overcrowded and there is not a lot of space for manufacturing, for warehousing. Um, the labor force is um, on vacation, and uh, <laughs> we've got great employees there, but there's not a whole lot of them to be found. And uh, everything is less expensive from a business logistics-wise here, and less weather dependent. And uh, let's see, why else are we in DeLand? Um, we've been here since 2003, and uh, Kermit's brother-in-law, John, who's the co-owner of the business, operates this facility here, which is our manufacturing space. But we do make pies in Key West every single day, seven days a week from six in the morning till three or four in the afternoon. But this facility is where we make everything you find in glass bottles. Um, sauces, salsas, salad dressing, you name it, we make it here and we're always coming up with some new things. 
but uh, we make it here, we send it there, and you can purchase it from us down there or online. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's what go check it out. Say? <laughs> I gotta go shopping. <laughs> oh yeah, you gotta go shopping. Shipping department. Um, shipping is free after you buy seventy-five dollars worth of merchandise. So if you're on a cruise and you want to buy a ton of stuff at Kermit's, buy at least seventy-five dollars worth of stuff and have it shipped home. This is our, this is where our finished product is, um, which is not a huge amount. We don't make a ton of product at a time. We make what we need as we need it, and. Uh, it's real-time inventory. It is. It is real-time inventory, and we don't. We really don't have a super duper high-tech computer system. We have Tanya, who's been in the kitchen forever, who knows exactly what we're doing. That's a good thing. <laughs> it's a very good thing. Yeah. So this is going to start. This is now. This is not even half of the juice that we made last week. This is this is our regular bottles of juice. Um, double on. strength. Double strength. So it's it's double really. Seat four pallets worth. And that's gallons. This is 12 ounces, that's gallons. Um, key limes are no longer commercially grown in Florida, which most people don't know. I yeah, did not know that. Yeah, where do you get your key limes? Key limes, um, we get our key limes through a fruit broker on the West Coast who um, sources key limes from California, Mexico, Peru, um, wherever key limes are growing best at the time. But we don't need all of the key lime to come all the way over back to you know from california to florida right. what we need is the juice so they process it minimally for us and it comes to us almost like you'd get orange juice concentrate yeah. can but it comes in much bigger yeah container <laughs> yeah, yes buckets yeah you know pallets of buckets so then we reconstitute it but only back to double strength and when it comes to us it's eight times strong Oh wow! So it's very acidic. You wouldn't want to eat it. You no. wouldn't want to, you know. No. But it's a bit tart. It's a bit, a bit tart. <laughs> <laughs> Don't spill it on the floor. <laughs> Wear eye protection when you're cooking it. Might be a tad bit caustic. <laughs> Just a bit. But so we make it double strength, so that when you put it in a pie, it's not as much liquid. Yeah. So you've got, you know, people will often say, "Oh, this is key lime cheesecake." No, it's not key lime cheesecake. It's key lime pie. Yeah, because I know I did notice the consistency. The consistency is much much, it was it was. A, <laughs> Thicker. It's a much thicker consistency. Yeah. 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 But it's just less run. It doesn't have that wiggly. Well, the cocktails I've made with using yes. key, Kermit's key lime yes. have been amazing. Mm -hmm. And I don't have to add, obviously, as much. Right. Yep. Because um, I know yeah. the typical lime juice yep. is and mostly water. Key West Legal Rum, what they what they do when they tell you how to make their mojito with our lime juice is they put the lime juice in the glass first with the mint leaves. And you only model them with and with um, Daramura sugar, which is the okay. brown crystallized sugar. Okay. And they use the sugar to muddle the the mint leaves, but not too much, because if you if you muddle them too much, the chlorophyll comes out, and that's what you taste in your mojito. The things I learned. Right. <laughs> so right now, this is oh. our. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hi. Hi. I'm doing a, a video vlog for a uh, travel site. But, um, so pies that we made today that are cooling, ready to be topped. Um, we are making our key lime white chocolate bark. Oh. <laughs> we're making key lime white chocolate bark. We just made fudge, so now we're boxing fudge. Oh. And Fritz is making pie bars. Oh, I love that thing. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay. You like one? Uh-huh. Yep. What's the, um... He's doing white chocolate key lime. Mm -hmm. Look at that! And that's how we make all of them. Oh. They're all hand dipped two at a time. Last year we made oh. over 134,000 of them all hand dipped two at a time. Oh. Honey, there's a whole freezer of crack over here. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, that's fudge. Yep, she's uh, boxing up the fudge. We make fudge at least at least once a week. I mean, oh, we're doing hot sauce. In the hot sauce. Hot sauce. We've got five different hot sauces. Yep. So we're doing hot sauces right now. Pies we're done with for the day. Um, what else are we doing? Oh, you should make a hot sauce over there. I see that. Over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who's my new best friend? <laughs> Amy. Amy's the new best friend. <laughs> see if we can make it 40 gallons or 10 gallons. She's using a 10 gallon pot. 
sauces we do, we do small batches as much as we can. Right. Which, and hot sauce is in a relatively small bottle, so you don't yeah. need okay. gallons of hot um, sauce at a time. Thank you. And this is where we do our finished product, adding our labels and... Hello, sir. Our, she's, Hello, dear. She's making um, gift boxes that we do, you know, assortment packs. Um, but everything we do is done by hand. We don't need a, you know, a... It's, it we it has know. the authentic feel, though. We Everything don't. that we've when tried from Kermit's yeah. is authentic. Yeah. 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 You it know, looks... had, we do bus tours in the, in the wintertime especially a lot, and we'll get, you know, busloads of senior citizen things that come into the kitchen, and we've got, you know, we had a guy come in one day, and he's like, I see about 10 things in here that you could do with a machine faster than you can do it with a person. He's like, why don't you automate? And I looked right at him, and I said, we like machines, we like people better than we like machines. We do ship pies on um, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays for overnight delivery, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And, you know, it is not an inexpensive proposition to ship a pie, but it's a very interesting one because you will get a pie that's sent to you that looks exactly like a pie that was just made in our shop. So, there's the, there's the pie There's your heaven. pie, your pie heaven. What we do is we bake the pie, we put the gel packs in unfrozen so that they're still no soft. form to it. Up. This box is specifically made for this pie shelf. It's not made for anything else. It fits together like a puzzle. Mm -hmm. What we do is before FedEx gets here at 4.30 in the afternoon, we open this up, we put two pounds of dry ice in there, we close it up, we send it on its way. Wow. So when you send a pie, you know, the, the expense of pie and then you've got the sense of FedEx, which unfortunately, despite the fact that we get the best rates because of the volume that we do, it's not an inexpensive proposition, yeah. but neither is shipping a lobster from Maine or exactly. steaks from Omaha, Nebraska, or anything else that you want to send. This is a fresh pie. And this pie will leave here this afternoon, and it'll be on someone's doorstep tomorrow morning. So, so if you want to buy an airplane ticket for a pie, it's going to cost you about 40 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still much cheaper than an airplane ticket to Key West and then your hotel and all that. So right? there's the, that's where the pies come from. We do pie bars too. We sell we ship pie bars as well. But uh, and these are not included in the free shipping from Key West with your $75 purchase. Gotcha. But that makes sense actually. It's, 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 yeah. And so. and as much as it's it's you know handmade, authentic made and all that. We are a food manufacturer, so we do have to follow the rules of yeah. you know, the FDA guidelines and the agriculture department guidelines. We had an inspection here two weeks ago from the uh, you know the government inspectors were in, spent six hours here, you know, inspecting everything. Yeah. Every recipe that we come up with, even if it's you know grandma's recipe for something, has to be we have to build it up to a uh, size that we would make it in and right. then we have to submit it to a private lab for testing you know and show the steps that we go through to make the product and we have to follow those steps every single time yeah. I mean, it's, it's it's yeah so what we we do everything in house even our labels like i showed yes. you earlier the labeling that allows us to the what he's labeling right now is cilantro salsa that was made yesterday if you look on the label there's a code date on it it tells the date that it was made and whether that was batch A or batch B. So that if we were ever to have some sort of a, say there was a recall on the yeah, tomatoes that we could we identify used it. it. We could identify it right down the phone. You know, without, which most small manufacturers can't do that. You know, Campbell Soup can do that. But yeah. it's, you, know. you, you can begin there and end there, but the middle's pretty hard. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a few. Uh, just, those are pies. Yes. Well, and even now you figure every, you know. And then they put a scale on this side this, just to tease you. <laughs> this, this scale's <laughs> been here. This, when we first started in this building, we were just this section right here. Okay. That was the kitchen and the offices and the, okay. and the store. And oh, the that, was that was a, that, yeah, that was that was everything. It was this one section. And as tenants have moved out of the building, you guys yeah. just kept it up. We, I mean, when Irma hit, you know, we had no contact with the US for a couple of weeks. Phone lines were down. There was no yeah. cell service. The cell towers were down. Kermit had evacuated up to here. 
I mean, until power got restored, we didn't, we truly didn't know if we had it. So much as a storefront. I mean, I was watching a live feed online from a, there's a fishing captain who does a lot of live video. And I was watching him on his sat phone do a live feed of the power truck in front of our shop because his fishing boat was right out. Right. And they were on the pole. And that was like the first glimpse we got of the, the we're like, that building's still up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. That building is still oh. up. We lost Key West. We would have, you know, that is the majority of our business. It's not our online. That's how we found you. Right. Being 45 right. minutes from our house, exactly. we still yeah. discovered you in Key West. Yeah. And that's so. what most people do. You know, we're we're off the beaten path here because we are primarily a manufacturing facility. Correct. It happens to have a store because there's space for it. You know, and this this location is we do consider it our outlet. So it's 20 percent off all the time. 20%! So it is 20% off on all cash and carry all the time. So, uh, so what do you think, um, I mean, five years from now, where do you see Kermit's going? I mean, it, right for us, we've seen, you know, it started from uh, one or two bloggers mm -hmm. to now, oh, yeah, it's, now it's, you know, there, there's, mm -hmm. there's a lot of us yeah. and everybody yeah. has to stop at Kermit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, we don't want more stores. We used to have, actually we had more stores. We had one in Mount Dora and we had one in St. Augustine. Okay. Um, but that's not the business we want to be in. That's too much running. Too yeah. much. You know, we'd rather focus on doing what we do. We sell to other places. We do wholesale to high-end gift shops, specialty stores, things like that. We've got a store in Mount Dora that sells all of our entire product line. Oh, so you know what? We we probably make more money in Mount Dora, you know, from a profit standpoint. We make more in Mount Dora with her selling it than us having our own brick and mortar store with an entire payroll and and all of the overhead and all that. So we would rather let select other specialty distributors stores have it. Yeah. I mean, in Key West, you've been to Key West. You can oh. get a Kermit's Pie Bar in a million places in Key West. You can. Yes. They buy them from oh. us. Mm. Yep. Well, I only went to yeah, Kermit's. There's a, there, <laughs> no, they were in wrappers uh, yeah. multiple places we there's, stopped. There's oh. a lot of but places it's, that, there's, I mean, the, it's Kermit's. You know, for example, there's a, a large fish market that, you know, that sells our pie and pie bars because when you come in and buy your fish, yeah. you know, he's got fresh fish, he's got some produce, and you can get your Kermit's pie and be out the door. Yeah. We even have key lime dog biscuits because everyone wants to bring something home for their pet from vacation. Aww. And if you look on the label, that's pie. Short for pirate. <laughs> that is Kermit's Portuguese water dog who sits outside in front of the store with Kermit every single day. Aww. And our Aww. key lime dog treats are made out of peanut butter, oatmeal, a little bit of key lime juice, whole wheat flour. Nothing that's a human couldn't have in their own kitchen. But so we're able to make key lime dog treats here that you can bring home to your pup. Oh, cool. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> All right, so way cool tour. We learned a whole bunch about Kermit's we didn't know. How now I can finally go shopping. It, it, it's it's really authentic. It's legit. It, it, it's all handmade. It, it's, everything it, is made with love. They do small <clears throat> batches so that you know each each bottle is hand packed. Each bottle, I mean, it, each each bottle, each pie, each each um, chocolate key pies, chocolate yum. It's all. <laughs> it's just. Wow, and and so hopefully you will have seen my video or or my little photos or something by now, so you can see what I'm going wow about. Um, but amazing facility. Um, if you do play into Orlando the day before, this is considered their outlet, so you get an additional twenty percent off what you would pay if you stopped in Key West. You don't even have to mention Krista or Jason. Mention that you know Karen, and that'll, oh, get, you, you that'll, that'll get you some traction. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so um, if you come up here, um, tr like we said, um, do communicate with them prior to coming into town. Uh, don't just pop in and expect a tour. You have to communicate either by email or telephone and make an appointment to have a tour. Um, so do that, and then um, while you're here, you can get 20% off anything you want. And they've uh, they've got so much stuff. I, I Jason doesn't know how much I spend yet. Because I'm not done shopping. <laughs> anyway, this has been amazing. Um, yeah. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Celebrate, Celebrate the day. Celebrate the day. Thanks for watching. Much love to our friends. Be the good in the world. Spread the love and go.
on an adventure. Please like, comment, and subscribe.